ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா could the 63 million uh, children that were aborted be a result of mass karma that could not have been avoided that could anyway have happened but that could not happen by other natural means such as war or disease answer whenever anything catastrophic happens there can be multiple levels of causation consider the recent uh, pandemic what was its cause you could say it was the random mutation it could be uh, care- careless handling leading to a lab, le- a lab leak it could be deliberate a uh, sinister plan which went which went farther far wronger than what was intended it could be that uh, so that could be at the level of origin a cause but then we could have at the level of transmission we could say that maybe the united nations was not responsible enough or prompt enough in declaring a global emergency alert maybe you could say national governments were not uh, alert enough to close boundaries or diligent enough to arrange for medical resources be it personnel or masks or whatever medicines were working maybe we could say it was the anti vaxxers who who prevented herd immunity from coming by, by their objections maybe it is pair people who were themselves careless because they didn't follow the social distancing and masking norms maybe it is obesity which means people more vulnerable we could talk at causes at various levels and when we are addressing a problem we need to focus on the most constructive level of causal analysis that is where can we work where what can we do to deal with the problem and address it so similarly uh, when a calamity like say, 63 or more million uh, abortions have happened what could be its cause well there could be multiple levels of causation and mass karma could be one cause now just because somebody is destined to die does not mean that the instrument the the immediate circumstance that caused their that is not not responsible is not culpable that was the specious meaning false argument that kamsa gave to devaki and vasudev after he had killed six of their children he said oh first is i'm so cruel that i killed them then he said actually you should not blame me because it was everything happens by the will of destiny well, yes maybe it was maybe it was destiny that those children would die but that does not mean that he had to kill them he and he did not kill them the children thinking oh i am doing the will of destiny he killed because of his ulterior motives none of us know what is destiny in advance none of us knows what is whose karma from the past in advance and we can only be responsible for our actions when we are functioning in the world we need to focus on what is our dharma not what is others karma we need to focus on what is the right thing for us to do not who has done what in their previous lives if we start thinking that way uh, we could become heartless uh, if we see an orphanage where children are being abused starved um, made to do labor like slaves can we say that oh it this ch- all these children must have some mass karma from the past because of this happened maybe but that perspective would make us monstrously heartless no we should intervene to stop if we can't stop ourselves inform the authorities raise a voice make a noise stop the atrocity from when we are interacting with people in normal day to day affairs we need to not consider their previous life karma we could need to consider only their present life situation and our dharma in that situation from the present life perspective what is happening to those kids in the orphanage is horrendous and we should stop it so similarly 
in the in the case of abortion what has happened is, is tragic so many people more than one killed in the world war two were being killed we may say that they are not people well they are people pe- so they are preborn people who would become people in the normal sense of the words and we need to consider the causal level of analysis where we can do something actionable if we start thinking of the mass karma then we will become heartless we we need to think what is it that we can do we need to address the immediate causes so the immediate causes miseducation about what is the gra- nature and gravity of abortion you know the ulterior agendas of the abortion industry and there is other th- causes we can analyze and we try to address those causes so now was it that all these children were supposed to die as i said nobody knows destiny in advance uh, even if they were supposed to die those who were involved in uh, in their death in bringing about their death were not doing it because it was destiny they were doing it because they were either misinformed or they were they were motivated in a particular way and that lack of information or that misdirected motivation is something we should be addressing so we need to always focus on what is our dharma not what was whose karma that is the way we can be vigilant and responsible in functioning in the world in a way that we help make things better and not that we mistakenly use or misuse the philosophy to end up making things worse to making ourselves apathetic apathetic or as i said heartless thank you hari krishna